When I was a teenager, right, I, I decided what I was going to do in my life. I was going to make YouTube videos, right? And my mum wasn't having any of it. So I was like, okay, how do I get my mum on board in my career plans? And I came up with a tactic. You know what I did? I put her in the videos <laughs> so that she would be emotionally invested, right? And for a bit of context, I'm going to show you an ex a little example. Here's a 10-second clip of the first ever video I made with my mum. This annoys me. No comb, no brush. How many weeks you did the work? I don't know, it's been about five months. <laughs> you get haircut. Sometimes I don't know, is my daughter or my son? <laughs> that got over 100,000 views. Right, so I made more of these videos. Uh, I started getting a bit of an online following. And then the one day, the weirdest thing happened, right? I got a call from this producer in India, and she was like, um, I'm calling from the biggest television network in Asia. We've been watching your videos. We absolutely love them. And we're casting for a lead role in a primetime TV series. I was like, oh my God, I've never thought of Bollywood, but I've got a song about mangoes. It's going to be a hit. <laughs> she was like, oh, no, no, no. We don't want you. We want your mom. <laughs> what? <laughs> I went to my mom. I was like, mom, some producer wants to put you in her TV show on Star Plus. You probably don't want to do it, right? My mom was like, oh, no, I'll give it a go. <laughs> so I helped my mom with this audition. And I did it because I love her, but I did it reluctantly, right? Because one thing you got to know about my mom is she has always been my biggest competition. <laughs> I swear, ever since I was in school, in year five, right? In year five, there was a painting competition, right? This shows you just how... There was a painting competition. I painted a picture of the queen, okay? When I was a kid, I used to love the queen. Don't ask. We all did some fucked up shit in the 90s. <laughs> I painted this picture. I was really proud of it, right? My mum took one look at the painting. She goes, Beda, sweetheart, do you want to win? <laughs> I'm like eight years old, right? I was like, yeah. She went, yes, yes, you do want to win, don't you? Because I've risked my life to come to this country. <laughs> said, read this. What does it say? It was a letter. It said, home office, letter of deportation. She was like, look, Mawan, they want to send us back to Pakistan. I'm working three jobs to pay for the legal fees to fight this. Am I doing all of this so that you can come second to painting competition? I was like, no, she went, no, don't worry, go to bed. I'll make a few changes to the painting. <laughs> I woke up the next morning, that was not my painting. <laughs> She'd redone the whole thing, I took it to school, I instantly won the competition. My head teacher, though, she got suspicious. She was like, Moan, I need you to be really honest with me. Did anyone help you paint this? And I cracked immediately. I was like, yes, it was my mum, my mum did the whole thing, I'm really sorry, please don't deport us. <laughs> My head teacher calls my mum, she's like, I'm so sorry, I'm going to have to disqualify your son. This painting is too amazing for an eight-year-old. My mum was like, thank you, that's all I needed to hear. <laughs> that's what we're dealing with. <laughs> so I help her film this audition, right? I send it off. Two months later, I get a call from the same producer. She's like, oh my God, your mum is amazing. We want to cast her. Send her on the first plane to Mumbai. So this is what happens, right? My mum quits her job in Essex as an English language tutor, flies over to India, starts working as a Bollywood actress. She's now been there for five years. <laughs> the show that she's most famous for is called Yehe Mohobbete, which translates as This Is Love. Some of you know it. This is what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This show gets over 5.7 million viewers an episode, right? She's a household name now. Doesn't she look great? Yes, she does. I know I should be happy for her. But this wasn't the plan! <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, but she's getting more attention for something I did to get more attention from her! <laughs> While this was happening, I was working in Sports Direct. <laughs> I had to do that job every day, knowing my mum was on the other side of the globe, getting her own backup dancers. <laughs> Look how happy she looks. This is her on the red carpet. Yeah, she got nominated for a Star Pro Vire Award, dragged my dad along. He's like, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I had to steal this from a website called BollywoodGaramMasala.com. That's how famous she is. I had to copyright infringe my own mother's photo. <laughs> this is her doing some press. Look how smug she looks. <laughs> yes, I did steal my son's thunder. Yes. Yes, he is a shit painter. How did you know? <laughs> 
She's even too famous for me now. You know, if you Google my name, Moan Rizwan, the first auto search that comes up is Moan Rizwan mum. <laughs> and that's just because I'm trying to get through to her. <laughs> my dad got really worried. My dad sat me down and he was like, Moan, you've made your mum famous now. What about me? So I got my dad on my radio show on the, the BBC Asian Network, the Moana and Emily show. You saw me, yeah, he does a bit called Review Dad. He has now got a regular slot and the BBC love him. <laughs> I've opened up a family talent agency. <laughs> Look what comes second on my auto search. <laughs> Moana is one dad. Thanks to me, right? Thanks to me. My dad got to meet Jerry Halliwell. That's my dad, that's Jerry Halliwell, that's a quinoa salad. <laughs> he had a 20-minute conversation with her. He turns to me, he goes, Moan, who is this woman? <laughs> I told him, and now he won't stop bragging to his mates that he's met one of the Spice Ladies. <laughs> I'm not correcting him. It gets worse, right? Even my brother's famous now. My brother last year landed a lead role in a BBC Amazon Prime drama called Informer. Oh, yeah. That's my brother. I'm sorry, but how? <laughs> he didn't even take drama for GCSE. <laughs> I was playing zip zap boing till I was 18. 